Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some things that are new from Ulta or just things that I have not used yet. Um, I haven't done an Ulta haul in a while and um, I'm just really excited to show you some things that I've gotten recently. Um, it has been, this is my birthday month, so I've been um, receiving some Ulta gift cards and money and things like that. And of course, I chose to spend my birthday money on makeup and beauty and skincare and things like that because that's what I love. Um, so I want to show you some things and let me know in the comments down below if you have used these products before or if you're going to um, check them out yourself. So the first thing I got is the Matrix Brass Off Shampoo. Um, this is a like toner shampoo. And Ulta is having a huge sale on all their jumbo hair products for the next, I don't know, couple weeks. So if you're seeing this and it's still January, um, you might be able to pop in or check out their sales online. Um, the reason I wanted to pick this up is because I follow on Instagram Lady Gaga, not only Lady Gaga, but her hairstylist and her makeup artist. And her hairstylist said that this is what he uses on her hair to keep it that nice cool tone blonde. Um, so it just kind of cancels out the brassiness that's in your hair and keeps it nice and cool toned. I have cool toned skin and my roots that I've been letting grow out because it's kind of in style are cool tone. And then I have my blonde highlights down here from long ago and they're pretty cool toned still but I don't know I can see a little brassiness trying to come through on them. Um, I'm going to try this out. They say that you're supposed to wear gloves when you use this. I've not used it yet. So um, I have some I have, I have some gloves and I'm going to try it and I'll let you know. If you would like for me to film a review on this because I was unable to find any reviews on YouTube about this particular product. Purple and blue shampoo reviews are everywhere but not this particular product. Let me know and I will hold off on using it and I'll do like some before and after pictures and maybe film like how I use it. Um, or I'll just film a review on it after I use it. The next thing I got is um, this Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. I know that Origins is a really good brand and I'd like to try it I out. don't know why but Ulta sent me this NYX and it's called a liquid crystal body liner which makes me sad it makes me think that it may not be cosmetic grade glitter um, therefore I'm not sure if this is safe to use on the eyes I'm gonna have to do my research on this I'll do a swatch for you but I think this would be cool to use on the eyes so we'll let it dry down and then Kind of check it out and see what it looks like. Oh, something else I got that I'm excited and I'm actually, I'll actually put this on on camera. It's the Too Faced Melted um, Lipstick, but it's the Latex. And I really like the packaging because it just almost kind of looks like a nail polish. I like the Too Faced Melted um, Liquid Lipsticks a lot, but I have not tried the Latex yet. I'll, I'll give it a swatch first. It's pretty. Next to that silver too, it looks really pretty. And I'll try to put it on. I don't have a mirror, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. I might have to get really close because I can't see. Let me go get a mirror. This smells really good, like fruit punch or something. Okay, I'm gonna need to close that curtain because I think the sunlight might be messing with the video. Hopefully that's better. What do you think? I think that that looks good. I don't know if I would necessarily pair it with this eyeshadow, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think that's a pretty color. And I can see why they call it latex because it almost has like that shiny latex -ness to it. Hmm. It looks good. Okay. Something else I want to show you I've already used and I just threw the box away. So this might be a little weird to show you, but oh well. This is the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree 
um, face, well, it's not a face bar. It's just a tea tree bar of soap. And it smells more like peppermint than tea tree, but it just reminds me of a spa. Um, this might be TMI, but I'm gonna share it anyway because you might be going through the same things. Um, I'm just a sweaty human being, especially when I'm at work. I am a full-time theater teacher, and I just get so excited and so passionate about what I'm talking about when I'm teaching the students that I work up a sweat. I don't sit at a computer desk. I'm constantly up, just like using my hands and just zip, zipping, bebopping around the room. I also teach dance too in the mornings. So I don't know, I just get really sweaty and sometimes I just feel like I stink, even though I shower every single day. And so I know that tea tree oil cancels out bacteria. It's like a natural antiseptic, I think is what I've read somewhere. And um, I just love the smell of it in general. And so I saw this online and thought I would give it a try. Um, I've used it twice now, and I even used it on my face as well to cleanse my face because I do have acne prone skin. And I'm just enjoying this so far. So I've only had it, again, like a couple days. I've just used it twice recently. And um, it just smells so good. And you almost feel like you're at a spa when you're taking a shower with it. You have probably seen these all over YouTube. These are the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquefied Eyeshadow. Um, I got this to use in my makeup kit because I thought it would be gorgeous on brides who like a more glamorous look. Um, so far, most of my brides have preferred a more natural look, so I haven't got to experiment much with glitter and stuff on other people. Um, but I thought that this was so beautiful and um, I've seen other reviews on it and everything and I just couldn't wait couldn't wait to get one myself um, so I used my Ulta rewards points because I'm a platinum member because I shop there so much and got some money off on this this is rose gold retro and let me just swatch this on the back of my hand so you can see how pretty it is so here it is wet, and then I'll show it to you again once it's dried. Um, the NYX glitter has dried now, and I think that looks really pretty. Okay, so I also picked up this Derma Blend Liquid Smooth, Smooth Liquid Camo Foundation. I got mine in the shade Linen. Yes, and that is the lightest shade. Oh, it says Derma Blend L'Oreal USA. I did not know that L'Oreal and Derma Blend were the same. Company. I feel like L'Oreal owns a lot of things. So I'm wearing this foundation today. Here's a little swatch of it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I think that it has nice coverage. Um, but I have took a picture earlier um, to send to my mom because I got my eye makeup done at Ulta today. They were having an Urban Decay event. So I, a makeup artist did my eyes for me and then I came home and kind of revised it a little bit because it was not smoky enough for me. And um, in natural lighting, I looked and I, looked, I thought, oh my gosh, oh, like I need Botox because it was just settling. And I don't know how much you can see right now because the window light might be kind of canceling out some of my wrinkles. But it was just settling like in these little creases and made me look so much older. So... I don't know, maybe I need to use it with a different primer, or maybe I just like, maybe I'm just getting old. That sucks. But otherwise, I think it, I think it looks fine. So because they were having this Urban Decay makeup event today, um, she put a Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner on my lower lash line here. She wanted to put it on my waterline, but I'm not about that life. Um, I think it makes your eyes look small and squinty. And I'm a contact lens wearer, so I just wanna try to protect my eyes. But she used this color on me, and I have this in black. But this is in the shade Stash, and it's kind of an army green. And so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, I know some of these, right now, if you go online at Ulta.com, some of the colors are $10, and I think these are originally like 20 so if you want a good deal 
on some really good eyeliner. You might check that out. So my husband for Christmas got me the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, I did not know they had the cream liquid versions of it that you could pair together. And so I swatched this in the store today and thought it was just as good as the Stila Liquid uh, Magnificent Metal Glitter. And so I picked one up. Mine is in the shade Zodiac. There was also a purple one too that I thought about getting, but I didn't want to spend too much money. So let me swatch this for you and then I'll show you the Moon Dust palette too because it's new. So that's what it looks like, some iridescent little text on there. It has a little brush. So here's what it looks like when it's not dried down, but you can see that depending on how you look at it, it looks charcoal or then it looks green. And I just like these dingy, grungy colors. Um, with my blue eyes, I think it just makes them pop and kind of look smoldery a little bit. So I'm going to try this out this week. I can't wait. Um, the Stila Magnificent Metals has dried down now. It's gorgeous. I think this would look pretty on some brides. So if you're one of my future clients and you would like to try that, I'll put it on for you. I'll put it on you, for you. These Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Shadows might be giving the Steel of Magnificent Metals a run for their money. Let me show you that palette real quick. So here is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. Really cool mirrored, textured, like three-dimensional packaging. And then here are the shades. Very glittery and shimmery. I'll swatch one. Galaxy, because I think it might be good to pair with the Zodiac color of the liquid moon dust. So that is it. Ooh. Right there. Really pretty. I have used this before. Um, since I've got it for Christmas and it looks good looks really good look at that this is something I got for free because it's my birthday month it's a juice infused lip oil and lip mask cranberry and pomegranate lip mask and lip oil oh that looks fun should we try this on sometime let me know and then, ah, this tinted lip oil, you can kind of see through it, but we sniff it. I have to sniff everything. Mmm. I want to drink that. So the swatch is kind of clear, but I think once you put it on the lips, it'll be tinted. I'm not going to put it on now because I have that um, liquid latex on. And it feels really comfortable, by the way. But I will give this a try. I'm all about a moisturized lip. And last but not least, I got a perfume. I got the Sarah Jessica Parker Stash Perfume. Ulta sent me a um, Sarah Jessica Parker hair oil, like, little sample. I don't know, like, six months ago. And it was just a scented hair oil, and you would rub it in your hair, or rub it in your hands, and then run it through your hair like this, and it would give it a shine and it just smelled so good. I thought, oh my gosh, if they have that in a perfume that I can get my hands on, I'm gonna get it. So I found it and I got it and I have it on just because I put the sample on today and it just smells so good. It's like a, a very sexy smell. It's, it's real warm and spicy and sensual. Mm. You gotta smell this. I mean, it's cute, right? But this tape, like the bottle in the store, this tape was like all peeled up. And this is definitely gaff tape. If you don't know what gaff tape is, it's a tape that we use in theater to tape down like electronic, electrical cords and it just rips really easily. It doesn't leave a sticky residue on the stage floor or any surface that you're sticking it on. 
So that's definitely what this is. This is a gaff tape, which is a cool concept, but um, you know, it looks pretty cool. Black and gold, has a black nozzle. Let's just spray more. Mm. I also wanted to include these in the video too. I know that they don't sell this at Ulta, but um, you know, I thought I'd share it nonetheless because chances are if you're watching this particular video, you do like makeup and beauty and skincare and um, you probably have some makeup brushes that could be clean or cleaner than they are um, like me. So this is what I like to use. I use the Beauty So Clean uh, Wipeout Brush Cleaner. This is paraben free and a lot of brush cleaners are not. And so therefore it's safer for you and safer for your client, for your uh, freelance business or whatnot. So this is what I use in my makeup kit. I use it for myself as well to keep my brushes clean. Um, it dries within 10 seconds or less. So you just spray it on your brush, rub it on a towel, and the germs are gone and all of the makeup crud is gone. And it's ready to use again on yourself or another person. This is their new product they launched this year. It is the Super Clean Brush Cleaner. So this apparently is even more um, potent in deep cleaning than this here. It says it can even get glitter out. This is also paraben free, fragrance free, dermatologist tested. I do know that online this was advertised of like getting glitter and eyelash glue and glitter glue and primers and things that are kind of tough and really sticky it gets them out of your brushes so i will have to check this out if you would like me to use this product on camera just leave me a comment down below and i would be more than happy to so um i definitely recommend this and i'm excited to try out this that is it for my Ulta haul. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I have um, some new subscribers, so thank you for subscribing to me. I know that I'm just a small YouTuber, but I appreciate the support and you coming and visiting my channel nonetheless. So um, welcome and thank you again. If um, you would like to see more videos from me, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I am about to film next a um, big um, empties video. so. Hopefully, if that is not already up on my channel yet, it will be coming next to you. So if you would like to see what products I used all the way up and know my thoughts on them, then um, just subscribe so you know when that video is coming your way. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye.